In this video, I will discuss about edge triggered T flip flop or clocked T flip flop. So, in T flip flop, T stands for toggle. So, let me look at the block diagram. Uh, we know that in JK flip flop, J and K are the inputs, Q and Q bar are the outputs. So, we can derive T flip flop from the JK flip flop. That is, if we short J and K input, that is, if I short J and K input, I will get a single input. This is nothing but T input. So, this becomes T flip flop. So, it has two outputs Q and Q bar. Let me draw the circuit diagram for this. So, this is, let this be a clock signal. So, as we know, this is JK flip flop. If I short J and K terminal, let me short J and K terminal. So, this in it has only one input, it is represented as T. So, this is the circuit diagram for T flip flop. Now, let me analyze the circuit. Let me consider the positive edges of the clock. These are the positive edges. So, if T is equal to 0 and QN is equal to 0, let me do the analysis. That is, if T is equal to 0 and present state of the flip flop is 0. Let me take this is nothing but QN is nothing but Q is equal to 0 then it will be 1 and we have assumed T equal to 0. So, this 0 will appear here and this 0 will appear here. So, here this 1 will appear here and this 0 will appear here. As we know in JK flip flop if both the inputs are 0 0 there is no change. Therefore, Qn plus 1 will be equal to, therefore, Qn plus 1 will be equal to 0 itself. That is 0, the status is no change. Now, let me consider T equal to 0 and Qn equal to 1. Suppose present state of the flip-flop is 1. That is, let me take Qn is equal to 1. I will take this as 1. Then, this will be 0. So, now this 1 will appear here and this 0 will appear here. So, now here we can see that both the inputs of J and K are 0. It means there is no change in the output. Therefore, Qn plus 1 will be equal to 1 itself. There is no change. So, there is no change that is Qn plus 1 is equal to Qn that is no change. Now, let me consider T equal to 1 and Qn equal to 0. That is, if T equal to T equal to 1 and Qn equal to 0. I will take Q equal to 1, Qn equal to 0, then it will be 1. So, this 0 will appear here and this 1 will appear here this will be 1 and this will be 1 because T is connected to both the inputs of AND gate. So, now when both the inputs of JK are 1, 1, then it will toggle. Therefore, here QN plus 1 is equal to 1. So, if you consider QN is equal to 1, that is here it will be toggle, it will be 1, that is toggle. So, if T is 1 and Qn is 1. So, let me take Qn is equal to 1. It is 1. So, here it will be 0. This 1 will go here and this 0 will appear here. So, now both J and K are 1, 1. Again, it will toggle. Therefore, Qn plus 1 will be the complement of this. That is 0. So, here it will be 0. That is nothing but toggle. So, this truth table can also be represented in short as let me consider this is positive edges if t is 0 you can see here when t is 0 qn plus 1 is same as qn so qn plus 1 is qn that is no change and if t is 1 here we can see in both the cases t is 1 then qn plus 1 is complement of qn that is qn bar which is nothing but toggle so, here when T 
T is equal to 1, the flip-flop will keep on toggle. Therefore, the name is toggle flip-flop or T flip-flop. Now, let me explain this along with the waveform. Now, let me consider this waveform. So, let this be a clock signal. And I will consider this as T signal, that is T input signal. So, I will consider positive edges of the clock. These are the positive edges. So, let this be Q output and this is Q bar. So, at the beginning, I will assume flip-flop is in reset state, that is 0. So, when first edge of the clock arrives, at this instant, T is equal to 0. When T is 0, flip-flop will follow. When T is 0, there is no change. When T is 0, there is no change. So, it will follow the same previous output till the next clock pulse. So, this is the next clock pulse. Here, at positive edge, T value is 1. When t is equal to 1, flip-flop will toggle. So, here it is 0, it will become 1 and it will be 1 until the next clock edge. Till here it is 1. So, here it is t equal to 0 at this instant. When t equal to 0, as I said, flip-flop will be in no change state. It will continue the previous state. So, it will be continue till here because we know that when t equal to 0, qn plus 1 is qn itself, means previous state. So, here t equal to 0. Again, the flip-flop will carry the same state. There is no change. And at this instant, t value is 1. Again, the flip-flop will toggle. It will go low and it will be continued. So, this is q waveform. So, q bar will be the complement of this. So, this is the complement. Here it is 0 and this we suppose to draw it as 1. This is 1. So, it will go 0 from here to here it is 0, then it will go high. This is the waveform for T flip-flop. Thank you for watching.